What's up everybody, it's Brandon Melvin with eXp Realty bringing you the real to real real estate tip of the week. Guys, if you're in real estate and you're a realtor and you're working on lead generation, uh, specifically on Facebook, you're gonna wanna pay attention today. All right, so we've got this really cool system called KV Core. If you're familiar with it, you're gonna know what I'm talking about. If you know how to use it, you'll probably recognize what I'm about to do, but if you don't on either of them, you're definitely gonna wanna pay attention. Let's check this easy, and I mean super easy way to generate leads on Facebook. Let's get into it. So this is the eXp Enterprise dashboard. I'm gonna sign in now, and I love the fact that it remembers me because I don't wanna have to remember all these passwords, and I'm sure you can relate uh, with all the passwords we have to uh, remember these days. So this is the dashboard, all right? All kinds of really cool links that uh, I use to uh, either generate business, keep business going, things of that nature. Uh, but let's go to KV Core. And over on the left side of it, you'll notice there's lots of different tabs. We need to go to the listing tab. Once we're there, you're gonna see all of the listings in the MLS that you're a part of. I'm gonna go ahead and filter them out. So right now it's on all, I can do my listings or agency listings. Uh, just so that I can show you here, we'll go to agency listings. And then I like to do most of my business in New Braunfels if possible. So we'll type in New Braunfels, there it goes, auto populates. And then you can change the price range, square foot, bed, bath, things of that nature. What kind of homes you wanna to look to market, we'll apply the filter. It's gonna bring us back to that page with the homes that I want to search. And let's go ahead and search by agent. Um, and hey, look, there's one of my listings. We'll go ahead and market that. And over here, we're gonna see a little bit of details about the home. Now, to make it real easy, I can actually just copy all of this and then go over here to this button. And I wanna post it to Facebook, right? So I have permission from myself. Uh, all of these listings within my brokerage are actually the owner of the broker, um, but it's best practice to get permission from the agent um, and say, hey, look, I'd like to market your listing. Uh, try and bring some buyers your way. Would you mind if I do that? Hopefully they'll say yes, um, but it's my own listing, so I don't have to do that. So we'll paste that. So it's got a little bit of information there about the property. And then I'm also gonna say, Click the link below for more details. Okay, and then a little side note here to kind of jazz up the postings that you do out there. Uh, this site is called emojipedia.org and all kinds of the little cool uh, emojipedias that you can have. I'm gonna go to uh, the smiley faces real quick and we'll go to the starstruck because I see this property and I'm just starstruck and we're gonna put it, put a couple of them. Oops, there we go, wrong button. That's better, let's go ahead and fill this back in. All right, so there we have that now. It auto-populates to my uh, personal page, but I wanna change that so that I have the ability to uh, boost it or market it a little bit. Uh, Brandon Melvin Realtor page, page that I manage, and you can't see it because of this little link down here, but there you go. Uh, post to Facebook, let's do that, and it should be there. Now we're gonna go to my Facebook page, and then we'll go to the Realtor page that I manage right there. And here we go. There's my Trek compliance and boom, there's that post. How difficult was that? Not at all. Um, so it's got all that information and then what a customer will do is while they're scrolling Facebook, they'll click on the link and it will take them to the page. And I've already clicked a couple uh, pictures, but then it actually uh, requests their information um, after about two, three, four pictures, whatever you set it up to, then they have to log in through Facebook. And then now um, I have their contact information. I can reach out to them, help them with whatever it is that they're looking for. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it brings business your way. If you liked it, please be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the Real to Real so you can get the Real to Real real estate tip of the week every week. I'll see you next time.